Hey and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel hi and welcome so for today's video i have some really fun halloween diys so if you want to see what i how i created these then stick around So for the first DIY, I'm taking some 8-inch sticks from the Dollar Tree to create a potion cabinet or a apothecary cabinet. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and glue all the sticks together just into a square. And like I said, these are the 8-inch sticks from Dollar Tree. Then I wanted a shelf, so for the middle, I'm taking a 10 inch stick from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna mark where I wanna cut, and I'm gonna cut it down with my little handsaw. Then I'm gonna take the 12 inch flat sticks, lay them down and see you know, where I want them to be cut. I'm gonna take one, cut it, and then I'm gonna cut all of them the same length and glue them to the back. And it's gonna be like the back part of my box. So then that 10 inch stick that I cut down, just put some glue in the back of that and slide it right into the middle of my box. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use some wood filler to fill in any, you know, little spaces in my wood. I'm gonna sand that down and then I'm gonna go ahead and use some antique wax to stain my box. Once I get done staining my box out of dry, I'm gonna take some of that black chalk paint and I'm gonna dry brush it over my box to give it an old look because that's what I'm going for with all my Halloween stuff. That rustic look. Once that dry, I'm taking some little pieces just to decorate my box with. The two flies, they came two together for $4.99. The snakes came two together for $4.99 from Michaels, 40% off. And I'm just messing around with everything from different places like the Dollar Tree, just trying to see where I want everything placed. The scars from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gluing that in there.
Once I got most of everything placed, I took this spider from Dollar Tree. I added some black chalk paint to it because it has so much glitter on it. And I'm gluing that down and I'm going to glue this snake at the top. Then I took a cotton swab and I tore it apart just to place in the middle of my box. Just if you ever see spider eggs or spider webs, like I just really had fun with this and it turned out really, really cute. For the next DIY, I took a scrap piece of wood I had for months and I wanted to create a little um, Halloween sign, like welcome home sign. So I'm just sanding it down a little bit and then I'm just adding some black chalk paint to it, front and back, sides and everything. Next, I'm taking these wood letters. They come two in a pack for, I think, $2.99 from Hobby Lobby that I didn't even know I still had, but I was happy that I had these. Um, I painted those white. Now here, I'm just placing everything down. Now the I'm replacing the O with like a witch and a moon. And then the welcome is going to be replaced with vinyl. Both of them are going to be replaced with vinyl. Welcome is going to be vinyl. The O is going to be a moon cut out in vinyl with a witch. And now I'm just taking some wood glue and hot glue to glue everything down. Now, you know it wouldn't be me if I did not distress everything. So I just take my sanding pad and I go over the sides. Then it's something that I do with my vinyl just to make it look like it's, it's not vinyl and that it's like a stencil. I take and I lightly distress over my vinyl with a lot of my signs that I make like right here. And I just take, I have like a wet paper towel on the side and I'll just, you know, sand, then I'll wipe sand and I'll wipe and you just want to be careful that you don't rip off any of the vinyl when you're doing that so then I decided to create a bow now I cannot give you step by step with this bow you just gonna have to watch really hard because this was just a bow I came up with but I thought it was really cute and whimsical it was it turned out really cute so all of the ribbon I'm using is from the Dollar Tree and just just keep looking you, you'll see what i'm doing <laughs> you. you see i had no clue of what i wanted to do but um i just went with it anything that came to mind now the bottom part of the bow i did take off because it was covering my the part the welcome part you'll see at the end but this bow really turned out really cute i like it i like it then to tie it off i just took another piece of ribbon and tied it in the knot in the back and that was it and i glued it to my sign but like i said the bottom part i did take off Let me know down below how do you like this bow. <laughs> it's really cute. It's a simple bow.
that can be remade if you decide to make this sign. So next I had this hoop reef um, from Hobby Lobby. I think it was like $3.99. You really can't see. I can't even remember how much it was. And I took a Dollar Tree reef, cut the string off of it. And I'm going to show you how I did that with this reef. And you actually, if you don't want to buy like a reef form, you can take and do the same thing, which I am in another video, to create a fall reef. And it makes the reef wider, you know, a little bigger. Um, but this was a good idea. I like this idea. I said, how can I make a larger reef? Because I wanted to make an old, like, black, rustic Halloween reef. So that's when I came up with this idea. And here I'm just taking the reef and I'm retying it to the um, hoop with some jute twine from the Dollar Tree. And you just wanna make sure you pull it really tight, knot it a couple of times, and then I cut it off. And I do that all the way around. Then I go and take the other reef and I overlap it a little bit onto this one that I'm tying, and I tie that down too. So I wanted to come back on. So now when you, if you wanted to make this reef, you do not have to use the hoop reef to hold it. You can actually just build this reef without that. So I took some spray paint, spray painted my reef black. Then I'm taking some paint mixing sticks because I want to use a sign in the middle, but I don't want a real heavy piece of wood in the middle. So I decided to cut down some paint mixing sticks um, to fit to each end of the reef. Cause I'm going to tie it to the reef. So you want it to be a, the exact, but this, not exact, but almost the same length as the reef. So I cut my paint sticks, paint mixing sticks down and I want it like a little space in them. Then I cut two extra scrap pieces of paint mixing sticks down, down, and I'm just gluing it to the back of what would be my sign. And I'm just take some white chalk paint and paint my sign white. And then I do go over this with some black chalk paint too to uh, once again make it look old because it is Halloween. So I wanted that old look to it. And these were more so rustic Halloween DIYs. Now, if you don't like all that distressing and scraping and scrubbing, you don't have to do this. You just gonna have to apply more coats of paint with everything you do that I did in the video. Cause I only did one coat of paint. So I took my Cricut machine, as you can see, and I cut out a stencil which just says, beware. And just use some black chalk paint for my stencil. And of course I'm gonna distress this too. Cause you know the look I'm going for. Yes, old and rustic. Now I took some really thick nautical rope. Um, I do not know where this came from. My mother gave this to me. And that's how I'm going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, tying my reef to the back, well, tying my sign to my reef, the back of my reef. I knotted it really tight twice, cut it off, and then I'm going to glue it down. Then I'm going to take some black chalk paint and just dab it onto the rope so it just blends in more with the reef. Then I got these picks while well, I was at Dollar Tree. The same day I got the little the, the snake and the bugs. I got a bat pick and spider picks. Well, I got two bat picks and one spider pick from Michaels. They were $4.99 with that 40% off. So here I'm just messing around trying to see which ones I want to do. Um, I ended up going with the spiders. I don't know. I mean, now looking at it, I do like the way the bats look, but I end up going with the spiders. So before I glue down my spiders, I wanted to take some more black chalk paint over my um, sign. 
And then I just glue my spiders down just using some hot glue. Then I'm taking these houses I got during Christmas time last year from Target and I'm going to tape off the top, which don't matter because you can scrape the paint right off of this little, this little galvanized part. And I'm going to paint one white, one black, and one with the pumpkin color chalk. Well, no, it was orange paint I got from um, the Dollar Tree, which actually works really good because I ran out of the pumpkin color chalk paint from Waverly. And I can't find it anywhere. But this paint did work good. Now for the orange paint, I had to do two coats from it since it is from the Dollar Tree. And I think I forgot to say this is like a tabletop piece. So next, I took these little fence pieces from the Dollar Tree, which was hard as I don't know what, getting off the staples and the string. It's like really on there. I painted those white. I'm going to glue them together. And then I'm going to take them Jenga blocks or tower blocks from Dollar Tree to help hold a little bit more. And I do paint those white too just to hold everything together. Now, after I painted it white, I did use this antique wax to distress it. I didn't like that against the black, you will see. Cause the stain I'm gonna use is gonna be black. So I do end up putting some black paint over top of this too. So I take another piece of scrap wood and I did not have to cut this down at all. It was perfect. It fit the fence. The fence fit on here in the houses without me having to do anything to it. Painted that black. Now my house is dry. I'm going to go ahead and add some bets to the white one. Then the word eek to the orange one. And then I think I put 31, 30, 31 onto the black house. And I cut this all out with my Cricut machine, of course. And I do distress these. I thought the clip was longer, but I did distress them. And I'm going to go ahead and just figure out where I want these placed. And I'm going to glue everything down. So once everything is glued down, I do decorate this with um, a couple of different pieces. So I use the pack of pumpkins from Hobby Lobby that I did in my haul. I painted them with some black chalk paint. I'm going to glue them down with hot glue. Then I take a rat. I actually got two uh, gray one and a black one. It came from like the Goodwill. Now I take a nail and I nail it through the rat into the wood house because the rat was not staying glued. And I went over with some black chalk paint and you can't even tell it was a nail. Now for the two skulls, what I did is I glued the bottom skull, but the top skull would not stay on. So I took an extra long nail, nailed it through the top part of 
the second skull into the second skull on the bottom into the wood, if that makes sense. Then I added some black chalk paint onto the skull and you can't even see the nail going through the skull's head. And that was it for this um, DIY. So that was it for these DIYs. Let me know down below which DIY was your favorite. If you're new to my channel and you like these type of videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you will not miss out on any videos I upload in the future. And also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you've seen. Have a good day and bye-bye. Steady cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up